Eddie. He was premature. Oh. Didn't have the strength to hold on to his mum. Hi. I'm Rhiannon, and this is Eddie's story for GeoBeats. I work as a volunteer rescuer, mainly focusing on that in Gold Coast, Australia. Eddie, say hello. Hi. Eddie was found at Dean Park on the pavement there by the workers. He was brought down to a wildlife hospital before coming into care with me. Morning, Eddie. He simply would have just fallen from mum as she's gone out to feed for the night. Hi, Eddie. Flying foxes are a species of bat from the Megabat family. Their baby has to hold on to mum's stomach and chest while she's flying around. Being that he was premature, he just simply wouldn't have had the strength to hold on to his mum. Oh, Eddie. He had to have his own special incubator. Every four to three hours, he would need a bottle feeding. It was very touch and go in the beginning. He can't come out, Eddie. Once he really started opening his eyes and moving around more, you could see his personality coming through and his strength and will to keep going on. <laughs> Eddie, what did you do? They form a bond with who they perceive as mother. Yeah. They're very affectionate. They know your voice and they do seem to learn their name as well. And you look up. He would call out to me as well if he could see me and he wanted to be picked up and get a feed. Oh, boy. They are very emotional, very social animals, and so you do need to give them a lot of love when they're babies. Eddie, do some flapping. Even when they're little, they will flap their wings and build up that flight muscle. I love the smell of bats. It's a very strong, musky smell. So they can see fantastic, the flying foxes. They actually have cat-like vision. It means they're just as good as us during the day, but much better than us at the night time. They're very loud to each other, especially the males. That's how they assert strength. <laughs> Bats do have very canine-like teeth, but it's just to protect themselves. It is interesting that they hang upside down. Leg muscles are really heavy, so the lighter they can be, the better they can fly. So having that ability to hang upside down means they don't have a lot of leg muscles. Eddie went into our flight every where we do soft release. Come on, honey, I believe in you. It is a setup where an animal can stay for a few weeks or however long they need until they just eventually choose not to come back. Eddie stayed there for five weeks or so, I believe, and then we opened the doors to the Avery. It may have taken him about a week to go off completely. I don't believe he's come back. I believe Eddie would have gone to the close back colonies. They're not monogamous at all. The males will make their little place in the colony. They have this scent gland on the back of their neck that is very oily on the boys, and they rub that all over their little spot, and their bellow is what attracts the females, and then it's just whoever likes whoever, really. It's so hard releasing them because you just have to let go of the control of knowing they're going to be okay and having a lot of faith that you've done the right thing, you've taught them enough to survive out there. Every time I see a bat flying out of a night time, I wonder if it's Eddie. Eddie.